Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, Chief Product Evangelist for Luminar AI, and I'm here today to answer this frequently asked question. If you try to access a raw file that's not on the supported list for Luminar AI, you could still make it work. Simply go to the web and do a web search for Adobe DNG Creator. DNG is the digital negative format, and it's a universal file format for raw files, much like how PDF is for documents. Click on the first article that should come up. You'll see the ability to download. It's available for both Mac OS and Windows. You see it's a free utility that supports more than 300 different cameras, including even new cameras like the iPhone 12. Proceed to download. It's a somewhat large file, so give it a moment to come down. Open the installer and double click. Choose continue. And select your hard drive. And click install. You may need an administrator's password to install the utility. You can now move the installer to the trash and locate it in your applications folder. You'll see it there under Adobe DNG Converter. Double click to launch. You can now select the folder that you want to process. Choose select and navigate to the image that you want. I'm gonna to go to my hard drive here and select some photos here from photographers Dan and Shell. And I'll choose the RAWs and select. Now what I could do is save them in the same location if I want, or choose a new location. I'll make a new folder here and call them DNG converts and click create and then select. Notice we've chosen the source file and the destination folder. You can also choose to include subfolders if you're selecting a parent folder and that works well. And I'll tell it to preserve the same subfolder structure for organization. Feel free to keep the current file name and then select DNG, or you can add other things such as date or extensions. I suggest checking your preferences here and set it for which version of camera raw you want. 12.4 is usually fine, but you can go back to 11.2 for greater compatibility. Embed the JPEG preview, Click OK. When you're ready, click Convert. It will now batch process all of those images. This is the same speed as importing into Lightroom and letting it make smart previews. So for those of you concerned about time, this really doesn't take much time. You see here that in about a minute or two, it can process the entire shoot. Let that finish, and then we'll import that into Luminar. Now that the conversion's complete, I can click OK. If I navigate to Luminar, I can add that folder of DNG files. I'll just select it from the drop down menu. You see the whole folder structure was preserved, and I can add it. Luminar scans the folder and adds them all in. Now it's super simple. Let's go ahead here and pick one of these portraits. I can open it up, and the raw file will be extracted from the DNG. You see it actually loads extremely quickly. From templates, you're free to go in and explore different options to jumpstart your editing. This is looking good, and I want to take advantage of a couple technologies. Under the light module here, when you have the DNG converter installed, you'll also see additional profiles. For example, I can match the camera's portrait profile. And you see how it pulled the color in. Or neutral. Different options here based upon the color science from the manufacturer. So the original portrait one here, in this case from Canon, and an updated one which is a little bit more natural. This is a great way to jumpstart the edit. Now we can easily finesse, and you see we have access to the full raw data. Let's just go ahead with Skin AI and reduce the shine a little. So there we have the DNG files handed off. 
and easily able to go in and tweak. I'm just going to remove the face slim there. And I think that's looking good. Nice, rich color. So using DNG Converter, it's relatively easy to convert your unsupported raw files into new DNG files, as well as in the light tool, access those great camera profiles. Now that's not dependent upon DNG files, so these will actually give you additional features when working with other RAW formats that are supported as well. And of course, Luminar AI will continue to ship free updates that offers new camera support in the future.